I got a late start today. I'm gonna be using the GoPro for the intro. I'm just trying something out. I'm not even sure how this looks, so. As you see, I got the GoPro mounted. Just walking to the station. Got a little bit of a late start. It's because we're gonna be going on patrol with one of the K9 units. So we're gonna jump in with them and we're gonna see how they do things in their day-to-day -day functions as a K9 unit patrol officer. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to my Canon G7X. Once I get inside, I'll probably mount up the GoPro on the vest like I always do and uh, get some visuals throughout. But for now, I just wanted to try this out and see how it is. Guys, got Sergeant Jackson here. That's right. Sarge, what's going on? How's everything? Good. All right, everything's everything. Another day in paradise. Hey, everybody. Hey. No close ups today? Caesar? All right, guys, back on the Canon G7X, back in the office, and got some mail. Let's open it up real quick. Letters from Matt all the way from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Let's see what he has to say. Says, Nick, what's up? I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm a big fan of the vlogs. You, you guys do a tremendous job at, and it's appreciated not only in Miami, but across the country. I've been following since vlog one. Notice you received police patches from time to time. Do you have a collection displayed in the office? If so, I'd love to see it in the vlog as I am an avid patch collector myself. I would like you to accept these Scranton PD patches to display in your collection. The smaller patch is a memorial patch to honor patrolman John Wilding who was killed in a line of duty last summer, July 12, 2015. This is, um, I get, a, you know, I get patches um, from you guys and I appreciate every patch, but this one here is, is special. Thank you very much for this. Um, the top portion of the patch uh, the JJW is John James Wilding and the bottom portion is 722 John's badge number which has been retired and will never be used again. It would be an honor to have these patches displayed by Miami Police Department. Again, thanks for all you do and all the unit does. I look forward to seeing you next vlog. Stay safe, Matt. Definitely going to put the handles down below. I always get that wrong. And he also sent this here, the City of Miami Police Vlog Squad. <laughs> I like it. Might get one, put it on. It's pretty cool. I'll turn it into a patch. To answer your question, I do not yet have a display. Me and the Sarge were actually talking about it today. Definitely going to be working on getting some kind of board or something to put these patches up. Uh, the patch collection is growing so far over the vlogs. I've collected quite a few. And I want to definitely have a nice display so when everyone walks in, they'll be able to see it. I'm thinking about putting it up on the wall here so it's like a focal point. Very awesome that you guys do that. I'm honored. Um, that you guys think of me and send in patches like that. Uh, very cool. Moving forward, this letter is from Norway. Wow, it's pretty cool. Check out the, the postage stamps here. It says, hello and greetings from Norway. I just want to thank you for giving us officers on the other side of the world a possibility to get an insight in Miami PD and the work that you do. We are always looking forward to a new update on your vlog. Keep up the good work and stay safe. Two patches from the Garder Moen police station in Norway is in the envelope. Garder Moen, I don't know if I'm saying this right. I'll put it up on the thing you guys can practice at home and try and tell me if I'm saying it right. Garder Moen police station is at Oslo airport oslo airport is norway's main airport for domestic and international travel thank you so much police officer arstad and police officer palmer eastern police district gardermoen police station norway wow um, two great letters thank you guys so much appreciate the patches it's so cool how we can connect to people all across the wor world as well as here in the united states here in Miami, all the way to Norway. He saw some guys from Germany. It's awesome. Um, matter of fact, yesterday I met a new friend. His name is Manny. He's six years old. He watches all the vlogs. He didn't have school, so he decided to come by the police station, drop by, and introduce himself. And now me and Manny, we're best friends. As a matter of fact, Manny made a little cameo on the vlog, but uh, you're gonna have to wait and see when it comes out. 
Um, tonight we're going to be going on patrol with the canine unit. As you guys saw, I introduced the canine unit to you guys, highlighted them a little bit and what they do. We did a little bit of training, but now we're going to go out into the field and patrol with them so you can see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis out in the field. So I believe um, the officer is here. I'm going to pack up, leave the station, and then we'll continue the vlog from there. What do you got going on? Oh, you're transporting? All right, so how does it work? Tell me how it works real quick. So we receive prisoners, mm -hmm. all right? And, then. and once we get a, a, a certain number, 39s, yep. in the A form, the rest form, okay. then we get them ready, prepared, put them on the, in the truck, take them to TGK, process them in TGK. Okay, can you show me the, uh, you don't have to go in, but mm -hmm. what, are, what we got going on, what it looks like? Okay. This is where we should put the males. Okay. It's been, uh, about uh, four on each side. Back, okay. Have second compartment, third compartment, and then on the side. That's where you should put the females. This is the one on the side where the females. Yes. Okay. This one should, should, should the females because it's smaller. We don't get that much females as males. Okay. So, about All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. So right now you got some prisoners about to come out. They're gonna go into the uh, the transport wagon. I just decided I saw um, the officer here, and I decided to come out show you guys a little bit about how we transport our prisoners. All right, so all the prisoners have been put inside the wagon, and this is our prisoner holding cell. What's up, Officer Jackson? What's going on? Good. All right, I'm just giving a tour, giving a tour of the, the holding cell here, and uh, a little bit about what you guys do. You want to give a, a little tour real quick? Okay, well, this is, we sit the females here. We separate the males from the females. Okay. And um, this, is a male, this is a male holding area right here. Okay. Um, we come to the bench until they, they forms get ready to get ready to be transported. They um they, they always stay they stay separated from the males and the females. Right. This is the prisoner restroom here. Oh, so we do have a restroom. This is the prisoner restroom. This is the, the offices where the officers complete their A forms and print out their logs. They print them out. Everything is electronic, so which makes it better mm -hmm. as far as um the A forms going over to TGK. Once they as soon as they complete and get it um. Get it approved. All right. Two officers now are headed out. Headed out. So right. you kind of hang back. You keep one here. One here to um take to do the intake of the, the prisoners that get arrested. Right. Until the transporting officers go to TGK process their thirty nines and then come back and they pick up the rest and go back do the same thing. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Jack. All right. Appreciate it. All right, man. I'll see you later. All right. Be safe. All right, you too. All right. Time to head out. Yeah. How you guys doing? Uh, what's going on? Oh, you want to introduce doing? yourself? Uh, Officer Jason Clifford in the K9 unit. All right. Been in the K9 unit for about 11 and a half years. Awesome. Been in the city for almost 15 years. So, uh, so you know it's all about K9. All right, so let's take a ride. All right, all right. Let's do a little thing real quick. Hey, just in case anything happens, because you know we're hitting the streets. Okay, what do you got? Here's my spare key. Oh. If anything happens to me. This guy's seen the vlogs. He knows what's up. So this is how I came to Officer Clifford. It's like my first day at school, but uh, Man, like I don't have enough stuff already in the back of this car, and half of it's for a dog. <laughs> so talk to me, I heard some stuff going on. Yeah, just a few minutes ago, um, over in the Alapad area, we just had a 29 carjacking uh, of a black Nissan Murano. Oh yeah. So they're still working again the tag and everything, so maybe we'll get lucky tonight. Uh, maybe got low jack. Maybe the low jack will help us bring it faster. So uh, you're equipped with low jack too? I always get low jack. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, one step further. Uh, I get text to my phone to the uh, any Lojack in Dade County. All right. So I always get it updated on my phone, so I already know what's out there. Right now it's quiet, so let's, All let's right. cross our fingers and hopefully uh, something uh, exciting goes out tonight. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. So we're gonna meet our third party. Uh, I guess we're the, you know because of him is why we do this job, and this is K9 Kane. K9 uh, Kane. Um, he's gonna. He's an apprehension dog slash EOD detection dog. Okay. So, What's EOD? Explosive Ordnance Detection. All so right. He is uh, vital to when we have dignitaries in the president and uh, for any type of special events they need uh, searching for for explosive to make sure everything is clear for everybody. Uh, one good thing about him on this trip, he doesn't bark in the car. All right. So he's one of those silent ones. But he's silent, silent and nice. friendly. He, he looks friendly. 
Oh, he's fantastic, man. I'm, I'm he likes you very social. Later on, I'm gonna you're gonna introduce him. He's not gonna treat you like the other dog did, but uh, oh my god, because uh, this is a different yeah. uh, different experience here. He's been fantastic lately. We got a lot of good finds, mm -hmm. um, and he's actually been a great joy to work with. Uh, okay, he's in tremendous shape. Uh, makes me want to go work out as muscular as this guy <laughs> is and stuff, you know. Yeah, it looks but, like uh, very well tempered and. That he's quietly, he's already ready for work. All right, sounds okay. good. All right. All right, so we're ready to hit the road. We are ready to go. So what's the game plan tonight? Tonight we're gonna find this, uh, hopefully find this uh, 29 carjacking vehicle. Um, was taken over here in the Allapad area. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go through uh, Overtown, just go through some spots that uh, we get lucky at times. Um, that's one good thing about canine. Uh, we're not restricted to one net area. Yep. Um, I always monitor two channels. I have an in-car, I have my handheld radio here. Um, this way, when I'm on channel three, I'm also maybe listening to channel one if I'm closer to that area, so that I'm always kind of in touch. Um, especially when it comes to officer safety issues. Uh, I really don't want to see an officer take a call by himself. I know it's busy in the city, um, but if I can just swing over there to back him up, um, to me, that's personal to me because I'd hate to be left alone when things can easily go bad very, very quickly. So, on that note, let's uh, let's get rock and roll in here. All right, sounds good. All right, we got a bailout on a 995. We're gonna go uh, respond over there. Maybe we can go parallel to it wherever they're at. K9431. Advise, they're gonna need K9 references bailout. Alright, so they're gonna go ahead and need K9, so we gotta get there uh, safely, but uh, we gotta get there in a reasonable amount of time. Obviously, uh, when we run our threes in K9, um, one of my main concerns is my partner. Um, we really got to make sure he gets there safe because you know, they're not sitting in a seatbelt and anything like that. So the best way is to just get there as safe as possible, but get there as quickly as possible. Um, her dog is no good to us, so uh, we're going to get there as safe as possible, but uh, hopefully... Uh, get there to make sure this perimeter uh, is established properly and we can get the, the guys that uh, bailed out the uh, 29 vehicle. Can we advise all units? K9 is in line. You're to hold your perimeter post. 7 to 9. Seven two. Seven two. All right. Thank you. K9 for K9 unit. We're the CP and also be advised that you need Everything's good. One of the true units. We got to get with you guys, bro. A lot of them people have been asking about doing a vlog with the true units. What are you going to do, man? I got to come back home. Old school, you got to come back. That's uh, all right. the Nissan Murano. We're gonna go with K9 and search. Um, these subjects were armed. They carjacked the victim's vehicle at gunpoint. So we're taking this very seriously and uh, we're gonna be searching uh, shortly here. So guys, as you see, uh, media's on the scene. We got them set out outside the perimeter. We got the yellow tape there and that's just for their safety because we're gonna be working in here. Our guns are gonna be out and we're gonna be looking for an armed defender. So anytime you see this uh, yellow police tape it's there for a reason so respect it um, if you need to get somewhere that's on the other side of the tape contact an officer flag them down 
there could be a hot scene, there could be a loose dog. You wanna make sure that it all is clear and by all means stay out of the area. It's there for a reason. I'm gonna head out into the, the, the third CP and uh, let's get this party going here, man. All right, sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna jump in. Got it. Is Kane coming out now? In two minutes, he's gonna be out. We're All gonna right. get him uh, harnessed up and ready to go. All right, sounds good. All right, so what's going on now? The lieutenant is assigning the search squads, and then uh, each officer is gonna have some units assigned to him, and then we go out and uh, search. Guys, I'm gonna put the handheld down. I'm gonna go to the GoPro, and then that's gonna be it for, for that. So are we getting uh, a hit over here? Dogs are alerting. Dogs showing some interest over by this dumpster here, so I'm gonna let him work it out a little bit. Okay. Um, supposedly the offenders ran from I-95 from over there. From the highway over there? It's a abandoned house, so we're making sure maybe there's no homeless people or anything in there. Maybe. They came down off the highway here. So, so some dog. We don't wanna not investigate a little bit more. Better to be sure. Just keep going. Out of this monsoon. And I know you guys are wondering, like, man, I've seen this guy before. I know this officer. <laughs> you guys might have seen him on the canine vlog. He's the man with the best sideburns in the department. <laughs> what are those? What are those? <laughs> yep, and notice how I pay respect. I shaved mine off. I knew I was going to be riding with him. Got to shave mine off every time I'm going to be with him out of respect. See, so you got senior sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, man, it really came down on us. Then it stops when we get in the car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Murphy. So, yeah, that's what it is. But you know what was successful? One of the suspects from the uh, armed uh, carjacking, um, you know, was identified by the victim. So we got one. Fortunately, the second one did get away. And sometimes this is how it happens. And. Uh, but at the end of the day, we'll, we'll get him another day, you know. Uh, everybody home? But everybody went home, is going home safe, and, um, and, and that's all that matters. We, uh, we like to uh, make sure that everybody just goes home, man. And that's that's the, the name of the game. All right, guys, end of the shift. Before we go, we didn't even get started, and we were just like right into it. Sometimes you come right out of roll call, and bam. That's it's, it's time to go to work. What I was going to ask you, I didn't get a chance to in the beginning. What's your background? Well, uh, father was in the military, so traveled the world. Uh, had the options of growing up in you know, a lot of a lot of great places. Uh, ended up here in Miami from the Coast Guard. Ah. Stationed Miami Beach, did two years there, uh, doing uh, drug interdiction and working the uh, small boats there in the area. And man, just fell in love with the city. Got out and. Been doing Behold, been doing still here, work, you know? Sister. All that right. was back in 1997 I came here. 1997? 1997. You're dating yourself, man. You're dating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, you gotta teach me. You gotta teach you? Teach me. I got somebody who could teach you. Who's that? His name's Manny. Oh, you want, Manny. Man, shout out to Manny, right? Manny, you wanna, you wanna see how Manny did it? How did Manny do it? Let me show you real quick. This is how Manny did it. Show me, Manny. And I'm here with my friend. Manny. And we want you to don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments down below. And leave those comments down below. And we'll see you next vlog. Adios. 
Adios, like he said. You got it? Let's see here if I can remember how Manny did. I ain't gonna be as good as Manny, but yeah. don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you later. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Bye, Kane. Kane, look at here, buddy. Got him. He wants to yeah, go back in. in He's like, I'm tired. Say, look at there, buddy. That's his toy in there. He worked hard for it. I have to give it to him. All right. All right, guys, we're out. Adios. Till next time. Till next time. There will be a next time. For sure. For sure. You heard it here. Next time. <laughs>